How compatible are these phones with external monitors and external screens connecting via wire and wirelessly? First, I'll start with the Z Flip. The Z Flip 6 actually has display out. This is something that was added with the Flip 5. All the flips before that did not have display out at all. Let's just connect it with the wire. Firstly, I want to see if you can actually display out while it's on the cover screen. So this is actually pretty sick. You can display out even on the cover screen. And um, this screen that I'm using is touch screen, so it works. That's actually pretty cool. Obviously, you're not going to do something like this, but it's pretty sick stuff. I just want to see. So when you display out like this on the cover screen, you can't actually adjust the aspect ratio, unfortunately. But when you open it up, okay, interesting. So if you start displaying out on the outside screen and then you open it up, it's not going to work. So you got to disconnect the monitor. So I'm going to just do that right now. So I'm gonna plug it out, plug it back in and then boom. So now it's mirroring the screen. When you're connecting via wire, you don't really have any options. It just mirrors your screen. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect now. Okay, so I'm in smart view. I'm going to select the screen and then boom. All right, so the cool thing about connecting wirelessly with the Z Flip and Samsung phones in general, you have these options right here to change the aspect ratio. So right now it's full screen on the phone itself, as you can see. You know the phone is seeing the full screen obviously and then i rotate it it's going to be full screen on the phone but then it's going to look like this with the black borders however in this little floating menu right here you can change the aspect ratio of the phone and then if you rotate it now it, it fills up the whole external monitor which is pretty sick so like let's say you know you're browsing the internet you want to show somebody something then you can do that then you could also cast chrome so let's say i want to keep using my phone while I'm casting something, you know, for whatever reason, like I'm in the living room, I have people over or something and I can still control that screen in this little floating window right here, which is super tough. I can minimize it. I can bring it back and just control that, do different things like zoom in and out, whatever. This is a whole internet browser, but now I can still use my phone if I wanted to. And I can even turn it vertical and it's still in landscape and it's still taking up the whole screen, which is really cool. So now let's say, you know, I'm watching a, a full screen YouTube video or a movie or something like that on my on the screen that I'm casting to. It could be a TV or something like that. I can choose to cast only YouTube. So boom, now it's only YouTube on that screen. And here it is in the little floating window on the actual phone screen. And I can, like I said, continue to do whatever else I need to do. Like I can minimize this and it's still playing the video perfectly fine no issues the app is still on the other screen while i can use my phone you know people are texting me i can respond to text messages i can check notifications and still be connected to the external monitor so this is just super tough i really like this functionality and it's just clean that you can do all this i just wish they added that same support for you know a wired connection and then you can also pause smart view so you can pause that screen you can resume and then additional settings you can hide notifications on the tv screen which is tough you can keep the phone screen on and then you can also allow all apps to be casted so literally any app can be on that screen you can rotate it you can do a lot i wish this phone had samsung dex samsung dex is like this but on another level so i'm going to show you that with the fold 5. so this is like one of the biggest differences between the z flips and other flagship samsung phones samsung dex so you plug your phone into an external monitor or connect wirelessly and boom now you have a whole computer type interface it's actually so crazy so now we're in samsung dex and when i say it's like a computer like interface like literally you have your taskbar your start menu you know you can open apps to see your recent apps you can search for apps you can see all your apps on your phone obviously and then you can also add apps to the home screen so this is a separate home screen layout than the other two that you have on your z fold and this all works with a keyboard and a mouse but if you don't have those things cool thing about samsung decks on samsung phones is that you have a built-in trackpad so now boom now i have a mouse off of my phone so i can actually you know move things around you got gestures as well so like let's say so now with youtube i can swipe with the two finger gestures just like i would on a normal trackpad it's pretty smooth like it's actually not like choppy or anything that's and yeah samsung decks like it's like using a computer so you can have different windows open so i can open up settings open up LumaFusion, minimize that or make it smaller you can resize all the windows to whatever size you want you can snap them to the side then choose another window to snap now you have two apps taking up half of the screen and then you can obviously resize in the middle and then just like windows you have that kind of snapping but then you can also snap four apps in a, a smaller view like this in each corner of the screen or you can do two small apps and then one taking up the other side like obviously you're not limited to doing that but like that's just like options that you have this is basically 
bare freedom like you can do whatever you want just like you could with a normal computer in terms of like how you organize your windows you can pin windows so that they never get overlapped so that it's always on the top you can adjust the opacity of certain windows which is cool and then obviously you can minimize you can exit you can maximize and then you can also pin these things to the taskbar down here to double tap for a right click pin to the taskbar and then boom now this app is on the taskbar in samsung dex whenever i connect to an external monitor and then the cool thing too is you can also use it for a keyboard obviously so if i'm gonna type something and then i can go to the keyboard it's not popping up because i have external keyboard connected with the screen and if you you can set it so that the on-screen keyboard doesn't pop up when you have an external keyboard but i'm just gonna bring it up and then boom now you can type so jamal lee and then boom now you can literally you can get real stuff done on samsung dex with your fold and then if you open it up now you have a bigger area for the trackpad and typing so it's pretty cool you can actually play games on this as well with minimal leg with a controller or you can play keyboard and mouse if the game supports it you can watch videos anything you could do on your phone and even um certain things that you would do on your computer or your laptop you can do on this samsung dex but it's unfortunate that samsung didn't add it to the z flip it would have been sick to just plug in this small form factor and then imagine this becoming the trackpad like you just you know swipe around and interact with the screen as a trackpad that would be pretty cool i feel like it's a perfect form factor for that everything that the z flip did in terms of connect to an external screen or a monitor the fold can do that plus it has samsung dex which is its own separate thing and samsung dex is also wireless as well so you can connect to any screen that supports miracast any tv any monitor that supports that and it will just work like this exactly like this you can connect a keyboard and mouse to your phone type up documents get work done play games whatever you can kind of do that on the z flip when you connect wirelessly it's not as nice of an experience that is the external monitor support i just wanted to compare that with these two phones for you guys Thank you.